Welcome to Monday Morning House Call. Christy Minks is stopping on by. In summers, we're starting to get to that point where it's starting to wind down a little bit. People are still doing a little bit of traveling though. We have some safety tips for traveling. Some of this stuff seems obvious, some not so obvious. Let's do the obvious stuff first. What are some tips for traveling? The obvious, of course, make for sure you always wear a safety belt. Always, always wear a safety belt. Uh, the other thing is make for sure you always t check your car before you take off in it. Check any kind of fluids, the brakes, um, anything. Make sure there's nothing loose hanging out here or there, nothing rattling. Right. Uh, get that all taken care of before you take off. Be alert. Um, do not take your eyes off the road. If you're sleepy, find you a little hotel, sleep over a little bit, even for a few hours, get you some refreshment, and then get back on the road. Don't ever drive tired. And then if you begin feeling tired, get a rest area, get you some pop, get you some coffee, something like that. If that's not going to be able to do it, like I said, sleep over. Right. Do your best judgment. Don't yeah. try to do anything that you think is going to possibly endanger you or your family in these right. kind of situations. Right. What are some of the other things? When we talk about, you know, being in an automobile crash, other things that can happen on the trip. What are some of the, maybe the strange things people don't always think about right away? Well, some of the things that people don't really think about, which you don't want to really think about, is, is being a victim while, while you're on vacation or taking a long trip. Try to pack as lightly as possible. Predators see you with a bunch of luggage or a bunch of baggage. They see you as an easy target. They're, they're going to think, hey, she's not going to miss this bag. And, or if you're carrying a lot, that's easy to attack you. You can drop the bags, they grab whatever they want, and right. run off. Anytime you're passing anybody in the street, make for sure you give direct eye contact, especially with somebody my size. I mean, I'm 4'11". <laughs> you know, there's not much defense I can give right. except for I always look people in the eye, and that gives people the feeling like, She's not taking anything. She's gonna. She's gonna put up a fight. You, when you look down, it lets you. It perceives to the other person that you're weak. That you're not gonna defend yourself. So make for sure you always give direct eye contact. Anytime you're parking your car, make for sure that you're in a well lit area and as close to the store or the location as possible. So you're not walking a big long distance back out to your car. And that way, you know, if somebody, however, does try to come up on you while you're getting in your car or whatever, jump in the car, lock the doors, turn the horn on, put your lights on, rev the engine, and, and just do not stop. This usually will um, get them out of the way, and that way you can continue with your trip. All right, we sure appreciate some safety traveling. We're going to talk about more car safety coming up later on. Uh, that's next Monday, summer car safety, the facts. Christy Minks will give them to you. Great stuff on Monday Morning House Call. As always, thank you for stopping by. We'll be right back on Mountain News this morning.